There's not many things you can experience while owning your car that invokes more anxiety than an unexplained coolant loss. You go to start your car and notice that the coolant levels down a bit. Seeing that it needs a top up, you do so. You go for a drive, get back in a couple of days later, start the car, the situation repeats itself again and again. You go through all the usual uh, rigmarole, you replace the radiator cap, as that's usually the first and cheapest option, but it still happens. You get the radiator tested, no leaks. You go looking through your entire engine bay and you can't find anything. The only thing that seems to be left is the depressing reality of an internal coolant leak, meaning your head or your head gasket, which also means a lot of coin. But something catches your eye. You notice the radiator overflow bottle is full. That shouldn't be, and here's why. When coolant gets hot, it expands. And as such, there's a feature in your radiator cap that allows the expanding coolant out of the radiator into an overflow tank. Then as the engine cools, it draws the coolant back into the radiator. So that way the radiator is always full. Why didn't it happen in this case? Simply put, the siphon hose fell off. So as the engine cooled, the radiator couldn't draw the coolant back. And every time I topped it up, the same thing would happen until the overflow tank was full. Siphon hoses can fall off over time due to age uh, or the vibration of an old diesel engine. But they're a very simple fix. Also give the expansion tank a quick once over and check for any cracks. So hopefully this helps you out and solves your mystery coolant leak. Thanks for watching and have a great day.